In the introduction, I mentioned that in order to make the connection between the spreadsheet and the Wikidata item that we're going to create, we have to have a JSON mapping schema that explains the relationship between the columns in our table and the wiki base model. It's really difficult to create these schemas by hand, so fortunately there's a tool that we can use to create the schema for us. So following the link that's on the instructions page, you should end up on a page something like this. I'll start here by clicking on add label. I'll leave this ID field the same. I like to use label followed by the language code here. And then I'll select English. And for description, I'll do the same thing. Description yen and choose English as my language there. For the property, I'm going to select the property country. And this has a different P number than what you'd see in the real Wikidata. It's P17 in the test Wikidata. And I have to choose that its type is item. I'm going to go ahead just for fun and add a qualifier property to this. The one that I'm going to use here is start date. And in the test wiki base instance, that is the property P87. This is type of date. And that's all I'm going to use for that property. Now let's pick another property here. This time I'm going to use birth date. So I'll just say date, and the birth date property is P18. Its type is date. And for this one, I'll add a reference. So it's created the reference instance. Now I'm going to add a property. The property that I'm going to use is reference URL. So let's call that ref URL. And in the test wiki date instance, that is P93. And its type is, not surprisingly, URL. So those are all the properties I'm going to add. Now I need to create a CSV file head with these headers that I've chosen here, each of these. Uh, fields that I filled in is going to be a column header. So let's call that test.csv. Now when I click on the create CSV button, it's going to prompt me to save it somewhere. If I tell it to save the file, in my case, it'll save it in the downloads directory. Now I also want it to create the JSON mapping file, so I will click on that button. Again, it's prompting me to save the file, so I'll click OK. If I want to see what the JSON looks like, I can look here, but I actually really don't care about that. This is just something that the program needs to run, and I don't have to worry about its format. Let's go ahead here and take a look at my downloads folder. And here I see there's the test CSV file. I can open it up with my default editing program for spreadsheets, which on my computer is LibreOffice. You can use Excel in this particular case. It's OK. So here we see each of these field names that I created in here, country, country start date, and so on. These have been added as field names here. And the JSON file is here. But like I said, we don't really care what's in that. We can just basically ignore that. 